I think those guys are eager to start the day off. Hello everyone, it is our reversal. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. It is 6 a.m. in the morning. We're here standing with two cars. We're doing a Latias raid, train, and uh, I'm excited. I need my shiny. Hey, morning. Yo, good Yo. morning. Um, we're gonna be raid training for about five or six hours. So take a look at this. I currently have seen 13 Latias. That's definitely gonna be changing today. Hopefully a shiny. Just wanted to let you guys know how much we got. And then also, at the very bottom, 187 million experience. So, it's only one thing we can say right now. Let's go for the raid! Let's go for the raid! <laughs> <laughs> okay, first Latias. Gotta take a couple of things into consideration. Considering we're doing so many Latias uh, just today, um, I would say anything above my year of birth is good. So 1989. Hey, I'm old. I'm old. I'm almost 30. Hey, but um, perfect IV 2006. So millennials, you guys are in luck today, um, and hopefully getting some shinies as well. Look, we have nine people here. We all have optimized teams. If in any way, shape, or form, Latias has a dragon move, we're gonna switch to our dark Tyranitar team. Uh, but most of us have Rayquaza, so take a look how fast this one goes down. There's still more than 200 seconds left on the clock, and I am on my fourth Pokemon here, and it already goes down. That's how easy for us Latias is, but you know, we're never using recommended teams. Nope. Unfortunately, didn't catch the Latias because, like I said, 1989 otherwise i'm gonna run away from it we got a couple of 10k hatching first one's beldum oh that's it <laughs> Ooh, 1989, there we go. Ah, it's not a shiny, okay. But I'm gonna go for this one because this is my year of birth. Yeah. Boom, first excellent. And a first catch, there we go. Nice. Wonder, HP, defense. Oh, second. That's like 93% or something like that. But then 12 attack. Not what we want. It's not what we want. Ah! Too late. <laughs> like that's one of the most fun things, honestly. Whenever you're doing uh, the the ray trains, you can just like add your Pokemon at the gym. And the cool thing is, this is a little trick for you guys. You can just constantly keep spamming the little plus icon until you actually until a lot until it lits up. Just spam it, you keep tapping on it, and then you eventually can add a Pokemon in there. Also, if there's a gym you haven't gotten yet, you can also feed a berry that way real quickly to uh, um, a Pokemon in case the gym is full. Uh, if you want to be getting yourself that gym into your gym map. Okay, this is a run gym. <laughs> <laughs> so we literally made it with like 10 seconds. Look, yeah. We always do a lucky act, like 20 seconds left. But yeah, as I was saying, we just barely made it to this raid with 10 seconds left, which was quite, it's like the morning workout here. Feels good, man. Woo. Good morning, chickens. <laughs> nice. 2,500, congrats. Thanks. Nobody has found shinies yet though. Kind of an update on this one. What a good night! What a good night! Two bunch! Amazing! Goedemorgen! <laughs> uh, we're four hours and about 30 minutes busy. To give it some perspective, we've done about 30 raids up to this point. Between 25 and 30, I think, of Latias. And only two people out of the group of 
like nine, ten people that we have have found a shiny, which is kind of crazy odds. <laughs> Lowest CP of the day, 1934. Nope. Lowest CP of the day, 1931. <laughs> <laughs> Lowest CP of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> it's not my shiny, but at least I got to catch one. Okay, 40,000 Stardust later, we're making a special trade today to make up for yesterday's episode. If you haven't seen what went down, check it out. Link to that video is in the description down below. But take a look at this. I will finally, after 10 evolutions, 10, I did nine in that video, did one off screen, I will finally have a shiny Gorobis, and it's also a Pokedex entry. There we go. Uh, 1033 CP is not that great, but I finally got him. I finally got Gorobis. It did cost me 40,000 Stardust. Shout out to Mark. 
for making this happen. Appreciate it. I usually wouldn't do anything like this, um, but in this particular case, I do make an exception because I don't know if I'm ever going to be finding a shiny clam pearl in, well, this year, first and foremost. And after seven evolutions of a shiny clam pearl, I think it's uh, more than enough, you know? I think the odds are just like, we're not in my favor. They said like, there's a 0.1% chance of happening what, what did happen to me on that video, so. Anyway, come to the last raid of the day. Okay, we have arrived. This is the final raid of the day. We're here with the group. And this is also raid number 50, 5-0. Five we started at 6 a.m. It is currently 12.30 in the afternoon. So we've been raiding for about six hours and 30 minutes. Uh, one thing that I did notice, which was pretty interesting, was the fact that uh, there's an insane increase in the amount of raids that are currently ongoing while Palkia and Latias are there. I would say it's about 80% Latias and about 20%, well, obviously 20% Palkia then. And the shiny raids this morning were absolutely dreadful, like really, really dreadful. But then later down the road, once more Latias started spawning, the shiny raid also seemed to be going up. I don't know what the reason of that is. Maybe in the morning they're like less likely to drop. Now we got people in the car who have several and I still have none. So kind of hoping, I'm hoping to be lucky there. Obviously I cannot trade one right now because I do have a shiny Gorbis right now, finally. Last time I also did a uh, Groudon raid train whenever shiny Groudon was there. And back then I also did not manage to get myself a shiny Groudon either. So I've not really been that lucky when it comes down to a legendary raid shiny Pokemon. I do however have a Kyogre maxed out, 98%, which is really cool. But I would like to get myself the Golden Latias. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Nope, too good to be true. I got it. The only upside of all of this is that we managed to do a lot of raids, meaning that I got a lot of rare candy. Um, I am gonna be doing Twilight Cup. So I invested a bunch of rare candy into a Togetic. I started with zero, but I have 160 rare candy. I have a bunch of TMs. I got about 20 fast TMs and about 15 charged TMs. And as far as my experience concerned, I surpassed 188 million experience. So yeah, I got myself 1 million experience. Exactly, a little bit more than that. As far as my catch ratio concerned, as you can see, scene 47, we started on 13. So that's 34 that we've done. Uh, I missed out on two due to a bug that's pretty unfortunate and the rest were all Palkia and while we were on the road I also managed to capture uh, quite a few the 1991 was the best out of the bunch as you can see and then for Palkia I got quite a few as well that I caught today I already had the uh, 2836 so yeah I have a little bit of a deja vu I was in this spot yesterday as well but I want to get a new Pokedex entry because I have three tasks which say use an item to evolve a pokemon so i'm gonna make a new pokedex entry here with murkrow i didn't have murkrow yet been holding off with my sinnoh stones so i wanted to do them on video right so hunchcrow finally into the pokedex let's take a screenshot of that these are all gonna be giving me an aerodactyl so first one just shiny checking them no 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 i'm completing my let's go mountain task finally taking me a long time but yesterday I actually finally got the anorith let's take a look at this I'm gonna be getting myself a bunch of starters this is actually gonna be um, multiplied by one and a half because of the star piece and the mysterious Pokemon is here it is of course the one and only Meltan I didn't have this one yet I have no idea if this is good IV or not but it is going to be a brand new Pokedex entry so I'm gonna go ahead and use a ultra ball and use a pineapple berry, of course. Getting it with the grate. And there you go. I finally got Melton. I wanted to do it 
through the quest. I wanted, I did not want it to do it through the box. I wanted to get it through the quest because I feel that's more Pokemon Go. Take a look at this. Finding the Pokedex, Meltan, 448. Wonder, HP, attack, ooh, that's not even that bad. So now what I can do is use all of that rare candy on Meltan, just all of it. I've literally got no idea or no, no clue what I wanna be using all this rare candy for. In yesterday's video, I used to dial in Clamperol to hopefully get myself a shiny Gorbis. So I might as well use it and free up some space in my inventory. And there we go, there's Professor Willow, I was right. Enjoy exploring reversal and I'm sure we'll be in touch soon. Boom, boom, boom. Getting the experience, getting that Stardust as well over here. That's gonna be 1350, no, I cannot calculate. Yeah, 1350 actually, yeah. And there we go. All of these special researches in Pokemon Go right now completed on my end.